Hey everybody, it's me, Elicure, and I'm uh, doing a narration for a second video in the series of my Call of Duty videos. This is the second level, uh, the sequel to the first level that I recorded not too long ago. Um, basically, I just wanted to do a really quick run through, you know, um, show you all the stuff that I decided to do, you know, how I ran through the level. Um, this first little field used to be a big problem for me because uh, because of the MG42s, and I actually got past this part rather quickly this time. I uh, surprised myself, actually. Um, this second little part uh, with the church was another big problem that I used to have. Uh, the guy on top of the turret coming around this corner and stuff uh, used to take the roundabout way. Uh, used to take me probably about five minutes to get to this part right here, usually. Uh, speeding through it, though, really isn't a problem. I found uh, it's just basically the running. Uh, this is actually a lot easier, this part with the guy on the half track. It's a lot easier to do with uh, a grenade. The only problem is uh, taking care of these guys outside the door. Um, I actually got him on the first shot. I wasted a few seconds there actually um, standing around when I could have jumped through the window. Um, this is another part where I wasted a few seconds. I switched over to my pistol instead of my rifle, which would have actually helped a whole lot more. Um, I should have probably been dealing with these guys over here first, um, because th they're usually the big problem. Uh, this usually takes quite a while for me as well. Um, I don't know why, it's just one of those things where I didn't want to run out into the open. Since I've been playing lots of video games or first-person shooters lately, I've, I've you know, gotten over that. I hadn't played Call of Duty in a while, so, you know, this is kind of my first ditch effort in, I don't know, maybe almost a year. Um, this next part, I remember, used to be a big problem because I used to sit here in this doorway and, and not do anything, you know, just kind of pick off at people. Uh, this time I just decided to go ahead and run out into the field. Um, as you can see, I, there really wasn't much of a problem with all the people out and about. Um, I took care of them pretty well. Um, I, I seem to remember where all the enemies are too. I, I wasn't having much of a problem with that. Um, this next part with the MG42, I, I just decided to kind of go ahead and, and take a run across the field. You know, uh, usually that's not rec uh, recommended because uh, I was pretty low on health at that point, as you can see. Um, luckily, there wasn't very many guys in that room. There usually aren't, and there was also some health pickups. Um, and I also got some grenades from this room, which is good, because uh, this next part with the MG42s, where you actually have to start blowing up the anti-aircraft guns, it's actually a real big pain in the ass. So the, the grenades really helped me out there. Uh, coming around the corner, uh, the two grenades I threw were actually really well placed, because they took out pretty much everybody that was there to take out. Um, I got to plant the explosives and then immediately run on to the next portion. Um, the guy that's usually in the top there was actually gone. I, I don't know where he was, but he was gone. Um, I immediately cut over to um, the underhang in the church. Uh, pulling out my grenades again, I start tossing more. Usually I found the guns, uh, it's usually the best thing to use on the guns. You just toss a few grenades out there. and Your, your guys will usually mop up the rest of them. Um, getting the guys off the gun there. I expected the first grenade I threw to get him, but it, apparently it didn't. I need to I need to work on that one a little bit. But uh, luckily the grenades I threw were enough to clear him out of the little area so I could run in there and plant the explosive without any problems. Um, another thing that I found is that passing um, enemies up, you guys are actually clean up behind you. I didn't know that before. I used to just you know, kill every single enemy in the level, but I found that if you, if you just feel like you know, running around and kind of killing some people but not the others, you, you guys will take care of the rest. Here again, I, I did grenades on these guys. Um, they're just kind of a choke point for you to take care of. Um, you know, the grenades are just, you know, just something to, to, to kill them off, you know, real, real quick, since you get enough in this game. Uh, here again, I just decided to keep running, you know, don't pay attention to any of the enemies, um, except for the ones that are directly in my path. Here's where I had the most fun in the level. I get to actually take control of one of the MG42s on my own, you know, and, and kind of clean up a little bit. Unfortunately, um, I feel like I wasted time at this part because the MG42 really wasn't that good of a weapon uh, than I thought it would be. Um, the last guy that I shot at who shot over at me still wasn't dead from the MG42 rounds. I mean, they're, they're too dispersed, apparently. 
So I'm going to have to, if I run this level again, you know, take care of that. You know, try to do it a little bit faster. Um, but I, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, it's, it's a pretty quick run, but I, I do think there are a lot of places where I can make some improvements. Um, other than that, I, you know, I'll, I'll continue doing it and posting more and more. You know, just give me your feedback, tell me how you liked it, you know, we'll just go from there. Uh, thanks again, and I, I hope you enjoyed this run. Redeploy the thermal.